Okay guys, this week we are going to do this a little bit different. I'm kicking back on the porch today and I am about to go through and read each and every single one of your suggestions for Saturday Night Snack and a Movie that I asked for on the Facebook page. Now if you are watching and you are not a member of the Facebook page, it is called That Nate Guys and Gals. Just go to uh, Facebook and search for that and you can join the group. Um, about two, maybe three weeks ago, I asked for suggestions for a Saturday Night Snack and a movie, and I think we got like 50 suggestions. So yeah, right now we're going to go through all of those, look at those, and then I am going to choose one of those and make the next Saturday Night Snack and a movie with that suggestion. Okay guys, so I'm doing this outside on my front porch. You might hear some people shoveling or cutting down trees or cars or something in the background, but let's go ahead and get this started. Um, here's the original post right here. It's Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. Let's start reading through some of these. Here we go. All right, Kyle Evans says, Tacos and the Lego Movie. That immediately sounds good. Tacos are never a bad idea. <laughs> But let's look through these a little bit. The Blues Brothers and Fried Chicken. Dang, that sounds good. Fried Chicken would probably be a little bit more involved than what I have the time for. Oh, man, would that be good, though. And Dry White Toast. And that is from Crystal Bomb. Um, and Dennis Randolph says, and Dry White Toast. <laughs> let's see here. Chris Oberjohn, the first Avengers movie, and Shawarma. Honestly, I have no clue what shawarma is. Um, and, okay, I've never seen the first Avengers movie. Uh, that's probably a surprise to a lot of people. But for some reason, I just I don't really get into the whole Marvel thing. Um, I loved Iron Man. I love the Spider-Man movies. But, uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I might give the Avengers movie a try sometime. Let's see. Carlo, Carlos Alberto Monte Garcia says Cheech and Chong up in smoke and cannabis cake for a snack. <laughs> Let's see. Corey Fry says Keenan and Kel good burger and make hamburgers. Now that is a good idea. Hey, cheeseburgers would sound so good tonight. Cheeseburgers on the grill. Um, of course, I probably couldn't do it on the grill because I don't have any propane. But, uh, but I might be able to get some. Let's keep that one in mind. Okay, Stephen Gaunt says... Hasperat and Star Trek. Um, I'm going to have to follow this link here at Vegan Yum Yum for Hasperat because I have no clue whatsoever what that is. Um, but I'm not a big Star Trek person. It's a good suggestion. I know a lot of people love Star Trek, but I'm not a Star Trek person myself. I just never really could get into it. Um, let's see. Sarah Cohen says, Smokey and the Bandit. The Diablo Sandwich with Dr. Pepper. Yum. And Dennis says Coors. <laughs> All right, let's keep on rolling here. Brandon Byers. The Force Awakens. You could make Chewbacca Wookiee cookies and wash it down with blue space milk. That is totally up my alley right there. Um, I may have to do this one, though, for a future episode because... The Wookiee cookies, I'll have to follow the recipe and see exactly what it calls for. But I would have to find, uh, I'd have to be able to modify it to find a keto recipe to make those cookies so I could have them. Um, but that is a, a great suggestion. I love The Force Awakens. And Wookiee cookies is right up my alley. All right, let's see. Jenny Gatos, I hope I'm saying that right. Clueless. <laughs> Um, a turkey sandwich with lemon snapple. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I've ever seen the whole movie Clueless. I do remember it. And yeah, I remember that they hang out at the mall. Um, I cannot think right offhand what that girl's name is. Alicia Silverstone? 
Felicia, Alicia, I think it's Alicia. But uh, yeah, that's a good suggestion. Um, Frankie Marone says heavyweights and some s'mores. Heavyweights was definitely a good movie. Uh, let's see, s'mores are delicious too. But let's just keep on moving. <laughs> that one might be a little bit controversial. Um, Terry X says 1987 Overboard with Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn and could make chicken, uh, let's see, and chocolate cream pie. Oh, that would be good. Um, with cream soda or Sprite. Drink it from one of those plastic champagne glasses. That is hilarious. And I actually uh, responded to this one. And I said, if I ever do this one, I have to make SpaghettiO Surprise. If you guys ever saw the movie Overboard, um, it, it, you know, they're just they're just hillbillies. And they make SpaghettiO Surprise because they don't have any money. And basically all it is is SpaghettiOs with Ritz crackers mixed in. And I've made it before and it's delicious. <laughs> so that is a good suggestion. Um, I'm going to keep that one in mind. I know SpaghettiOs is nowhere near low carb. But dang, does spaghetti a surprise sound good. All right, let's see. Terry Probst says, I need to think of something good and easy. Let's investigate. All right, let's see here. Sarah Hochstetler. Uh, Sarah Hochstetler. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uncle Buck and pancakes. That is a good idea. And I do have a good uh, keto recipe for pancakes. So that is, that's a potential one. It's a good potential. Um, let's see. Veronica Cochran says Meatballs movie from 1979 and Meatball Subs. That is a great suggestion, too. Um, although I think I made Meatball Subs uh, in a video recently. Maybe it was Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I don't remember, but that Meatballs movie, that I, I believe that has... Uh, I almost said Phil Connors. What the heck is his name, man? Bill Murray. <laughs> I think that's the one with Bill Murray in it. And I think Meatballs Part 2 is the one that has Meathead, the alien that comes down. It's so cheesy, but uh, that one I actually love because it's so stupid. All right, let's see here. Carla Dickerson says, Nate, what about batteries not included? Don't know what kind of movie snack to go with it. I, I loved Batteries Not Included, and I actually am one of the people who remembers Batteries Still Not Included, which was the sequel, and it has vanished off the face of the earth. So just, if you guys remember Batteries Still Not Included, leave me a comment below, because that is a true Mandela effect right there. Um, I saw Batteries Not Included at Walmart. Uh, not too long ago in, in one of the videos that I was making, and I did not buy it. It was only $3.74, and uh, if I should choose to do that one, I'll definitely go back to Walmart and get it. Alyssa Rastetter says, during Christmas time, you can watch Elf and make spaghetti. Yes, spaghetti with syrup. <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh, let's see here. We got some SpongeBob's there. Sarah Keaton Sloan says, Garfield and lasagna. That would be so awesome. Um, I have never tried to make a keto lasagna, but I could do that. I know that people use, like, cucumber, and they slice it real thin the long way, and they, they use that as the, uh, the lasagna noodles. Um, that is probably something that would take a while to actually put together, so I, I think I will do that, but I will save that for a future show, because I really want to try that keto lasagna, and that, that's a great idea, so... We'll definitely do that one in the future. Heather Holcomb says, Critters 2 and Meatloaf. The hungry heifer scene is hilarious till everything gets blown to pieces. Now, I honestly don't remember much about Critters 2. I absolutely love Critters Part 1. Love it to death. So, that is a good suggestion. And I actually did just see Critters 2 on DVD over at... Oh, crap, I can't remember what the place is called, but over, you know, it's one, in one of my videos I just posted here where I was searching for DVDs. So that, that's a good suggestion. Anna Lay Ratliff says, Jurassic Park and Tyson Frozen Dino Nuggets. That is definitely a good suggestion right there. <laughs> um, it, yeah, I, I'm going to keep that one in mind. Although, you know, of course, the Dino Nuggets are not keto, so, you know, I would have to... Um, 
figure out a way to do that. Maybe I could get some dino cookie cutters and use some really thin cut uh, chicken, cut out dino shapes and bake them myself. I don't know. I'm just thinking here. All right, let's see. Jennifer Fout says, clue the movie and you could make soup or monkey brains could be like a tort tortellini dish or something else brain-like or Napoleon Dynamite makes some steak or chips and salsa because Kip ate them all. <laughs> that is hilarious. Um, and then Gail Parkson says, he can have a dang quesadilla. <laughs> and I know it's quesadilla, but in the movie it's quesadilla. That's hilarious. I am definitely keeping that one in mind. Uh, let's see here. Jody Turner says, Animal House with jello and powdered sugar donuts. Is that too gross? Oh, I know what scene you're referring to. Yuck, that is gross. But yeah, I totally get it. That's hilarious. Chris Stanton says, ever seen Fool's Parade with Jimmy Stewart? Um, I don't think I've seen that one. That I will definitely have to look that up. Gail Parkinson. Gail Parkson. How do you pronounce your last name, Gail? I, I, I always read it as Gail Parkinson, but I see that that's not right. So it's Gail Parkson, maybe? Parkson? I don't know. Sorry if I'm totally butchering it. Um, but Gail says, Stand By Me, Open Campfire Cookout, and Cherry Pez. That is a totally awesome idea. And yes, I will, and I have been planning on doing a Stand By Me uh, Saturday Night Snack in a movie. Um, not going to do it tonight, because I, I have some ideas that I want to use for it. But that is definitely a good idea, and I'm going to whiz past this other thing so you don't see it right off. Bill Cardona says, airplane and fish. <laughs> if I'm remembering correctly, everybody got sick off the fish in airplane. That is a good idea. Um, let's see. Bill also says, dude, where's my car? And a life si lifetime supply of snack pack. <laughs> That's hilarious. And Bill also has one more, Soylent Green. And you guess the snack. Okay, we're going to skip on past that one. Uh, Dennis Randolph says, Midnight Madness and Melons, Marshmallows, Johnny Burgers, and Pabst Blue Ribbon. I love, love, love Midnight Madness. It's one of my favorite movies in the world. I'm actually friends with uh, Eddie Deason, um, who played, like, you know, the lead nerd in that movie. And uh, <laughs> I have talked to Eddie on a few occasions about, like, going out to L.A. with him and filming a, uh, oh, like a, like a filming locations video from that movie. That would be totally awesome, but he is really not in very good health right now. So I honestly don't know if that'll ever happen, but I would absolutely love to do that. Uh, let's see, Scott Lillis says, Billy Madison and Sloppy Joes. That would be hilarious. That is an awesome idea right there. I absolutely love that idea. That's in the running. Um, let's see, Marion LaRose says, Terry X, that's a great suggestion. Oh, she's referring to the uh, Overboard movie with, uh, with Goldie Hawn and what's-his-face up there. Um, all right, let's see, Justin Cole says, The Sandlot with s'mores and cherry coke. Heck yes. That's a good idea right there, too. Although I cannot have the s'mores. This is the worst thing about doing the Saturday Night Snack in a movie, is that I want to make snacks that you guys can have, but I can't have a lot of this stuff. <laughs> so I have to try to modify it to uh, to make it fit like a, a low-carb diet. Um, but that is a good idea. Okay, David Duque says Top Gun. Holly Scott says, Mrs. Doubtfire with frosted white cake. Jurassic Park with green jello. Oh, crap, she's got a bunch of them. Lady and the Tramp with spaghetti and meatballs. Pulp Fiction with a burger and cheese for the Royale with cheese. Ratatouille and eat ratatouille. <laughs> Matilda with chocolate cake. E.T. with something with Reese's Pieces. The Parent Trap with Oreos and peanut butter. Okay, that's all I got. Love your Saturday night movie this weekend. As usual, that snack looks so good. Okay, guys, I totally understand every single one of these, although I'd have to say that if I did Mrs. Doubtfire, I would definitely have to add 
a orange for the drive-by fruiting. <laughs> oh, crap. Hold on. Okay, let's roll down here. We got Tim Bailey with half-baked and hash brownies. Oh, okay, I see. I thought he was saying make half-baked hash brownies, but the movie is half-baked, and the snack will be hash brownies. Holy crap. Okay, Cody Steinwinder says the Lost Boys. Um, not sure of the snack. And Elizabeth Berlovan, I hope I didn't just butcher that, says chow mein noodles and white rice. That's what I'm talking about. Maggots. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Eric Tenahill says Three Kings um, and pick up MREs from a military surplus store. I have never personally made fried green tomatoes, but I have had them. And that is definitely in the running because I could go for some fried green tomatoes. Okay. Uh, Christian Herman Storfer says Paranormal Activity and M&Ms. That's a good idea. Michael Norbert Booker says The Matrix and some kind of futuristic food. Immediately when I think of The Matrix, I think of uh, that cream of wheat or whatever it was that they were eating. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Tom DeLong says, tacos de asada, cheese as enchiladas with onion, and watching Three Amigos. Hey, that's a good idea. Like I said, you can never go wrong with tacos. Okay, guys, we're going to keep moving with this here. I swear there is so much noise in this neighborhood right now. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> I'm trying to film this. Okay, so I believe we ended with Tammy Carol Witt, and she says, Monster Squad, but not sure of the snack. Monster Squad's a good movie. Um, it's one of those that did not age well with me. Like, a lot of movies you see in the 80s as a kid, you think are awesome, and then they remain awesome all through the years, no matter what, like Goonies. Um, Monster Squad is one of those that I saw, and I thought it was so cool. And then I tried to watch it again recently, and I was like, what in the world is this crap? You know, and it's funny because, like, I loved it. But um, it definitely is a good popcorn movie and a good movie for Saturday Night Snack and a movie. Um, so I, I, I will keep that one in mind for the future and come up with a good snack to have for that. Joshua Twing says The Karate Kid with Chinese Food. Um, that That's a good one. I think if I did The Karate Kid, I would have to see if I could find some kind of, like, gummy flies or something that we could eat with chopsticks. That would be hilarious. <laughs> okay, Joseph Workman says E.T. with sausage and pepperoni pizza roll-ups. Also, you could do Reese Pieces brownies. You can get a low-carb or keto recipe for the brownies. That's true. I, I, I've really been trying to think of something I could do with E.T. for a while, and uh, yeah, I like that idea of the sausage and pepperoni pizza roll-ups. We will keep that one in mind, but I do have some other ideas for E.T., so I may hold off on that one for a little bit. Uh, let's see. Stephen Leonetti says, Forrest Gump with shrimp gumbo, fried shrimp, and shrimp cocktail. Yes, that's a good idea. Um, what else does he say here? Castaway with sushi and coconut shrimp. Man, Castaway. I love that movie. I cannot even tell you. How many times I've seen it. I love it. All right, let's see. Oh, we got one more here. It's the very last one, guys. Tyler Marvel says, Lamb Chops and Silence of the Lambs. Holy crap. Silence of the Lambs would be an awesome one to do. Um, but honestly, I'll tell you what. I think I'll save that for October because that is a good... I'm trying to save, like, horror-type movies for October and do only everything else but horror until October, because I'm going to be doing a ton of Halloween videos, and everybody on the channel doesn't want to just see Halloween videos all the time. So I'm trying to keep all the Saturday night snack and the movies to movies that are not horror-related, and uh, only use those in October. So that is a very good suggestion, and we just may be doing that one in October. All right, guys, so that was fun. That was a lot of great suggestions there. Um, I'm going to be going through those and trying to decide on one that I think would be totally awesome. I may even choose two or three. You never know. But uh, stick around. Next weekend is when you will see the video that is produced from those suggestions.